Hey, welcome to the channel for another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can record gameplay directly off of your Xbox Series S or X console, and then move that gameplay over to, let's say, your mobile device. So you can edit your footage directly on your phone so that you can later upload it to YouTube, upload it to Twitter, upload it wherever you feel pleased to. I'm just here to help you along the way to make it happen. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let me show you how this is done. All right guys, so to get this started, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is press the Xbox Home button, and then you're gonna scroll over to the Share tab, and then within here, you're gonna wanna scroll down to the bottom, and let's check out our capture settings first. The first drop down here will allow yourself or the game to capture gameplay clips, or you can set it to don't capture at all, but I, I don't think you guys wanna have it set to that. To the right of that is just your Share button mapping, so I would personally just leave this to default, but what will happen if you press the share button is that it will record what happened, which would be in this next drop down, either the last 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, or one minute of gameplay that just occurred. I have mine set to 30 seconds because I think that's just enough time to capture if anything cool happened. But of course you can decide what you'd like that to be for yourself. Below that is the automatically upload drop down, and I have that selected to captures by me. And essentially what this feature will do is that it will upload your gameplay clips to Xbox Live. That way you can download the clips to your computer or your mobile device if you have the Xbox app downloaded. Below that is the game clip resolution. So I have mine set to 1080p, but keep in mind that you'll only be able to record up to one minute. I've also seen it record up to two minutes, but anywhere within that time frame, you'll be able to record 1080p quality clips. If you wanna do up to three minutes, you wanna have it set to 720p. Below that, you have the capture location. Internal would just be the internal storage on your Xbox, but if you happen to have a USB, you can also move your files there. Now keep in mind your external storage device will need to be USB 3.0 and formatted as an NTFS file type drive in order to save gameplay recordings to it. So for this part in particular, you will need a computer if you need to format your drive. What you're first gonna need to do is back up all the files that are currently on that drive and then select the format option when you right click the drive on your computer and then set the file type to be formatted to NTFS. Once you have that complete, you'll be able to use the device to store gameplay externally up to an hour long. Pretty nice upgrade from just recording two or three minutes. One thing you guys might have noticed that seems to be missing from the settings that Xbox could totally add is a microphone input option. We have no way to plug in a USB microphone and have that be recorded over our gameplay. The only option we seem to have is using your phone like we use it for everything else. So you could even do a face cam on your phone. But in addition to that, we can just record our own voice if we don't necessarily want to show our face using apps such as voice memos, which comes built in on most of iPhones and iPad devices, any voice recorder app is going to work. So now that our settings are all good to go, you can see I'm chilling in here, playing some Minecraft on my Xbox. Man, it has been a while since I've played Minecraft, um, but the game looks good on Xbox Series S. And let's say I wanna record a clip. All I need to do is just tap the share button and that will record the last 30 seconds of gameplay that I had set in my settings. Now, if I wanna just record a regular gameplay clip, maybe along with the microphone commentary on my phone, then all I need to do is press the Xbox app again, go over to the share tab, and then I can just select start recording, and then it will start recording my gameplay. And if there's any point that I'm ready to stop the recording, I can always go back into the share tab, and I'll be able to stop it before two minutes is up. What's up, little sheepy? How's it going, man? How's it going? You cold, man. All right, you see that my two minutes is up now because it says at the bottom gameplay clip recorded. And now that's being uploaded also to my Xbox Live feed. So then I'll be able to go to the Xbox app and download that clip in a moment. So let's go back to my recent captures within the share tab. And I can see all the clips that I just made. So the most recent ones right here. I have some additional sharing options that I can work with. I'll show you all of them. Activity feed, message, and club. Those are all related to just uploading it to Xbox Live. So you'll be able to message your friends, your video clip once you have it uh, uploaded to Xbox Live. But the other ones you can take a look at are Twitter and OneDrive. Twitter, 
self-explanatory, you upload it as a post. OneDrive is a very cool feature as you'll be able to share your gameplay clips across multiple devices very easy and without having to share it publicly. I honestly wish PlayStation had a feature like this, but they don't. One thing really missing from here would be a USB transfer option. So now that my gameplay has been recorded and uploaded to my Xbox Live account, it's now time to pull down that gameplay so that I can edit it. The apps you're going to need to have is the Xbox app and then next to that, your preferred video editing mobile app. So in my case, I like to use iMovie for a lot of the examples I do on this channel, but there's many good editing apps out there like VideoShop, VLLO, Filmmaker Pro is another one. There's a bunch out there, so check in the description below. I left a whole list that are good for Android and also iOS that you wanna check out. Okay, so let's first go ahead and launch the Xbox app. I'll be first brought to the home screen, but what I'm gonna wanna do is go over to that fourth right option. That will take me to my library where I can see all the captures that I recently recorded off of the Xbox. So I can just select whichever one that I would like to download. So there's this one that we just recently did from Minecraft. And all I need to do is select the save button under the video and it's going to prepare my video clip and it's going to save directly to my phone which is just wonderful I, I really wish playstation would copy some of these ideas even though on playstation we get to record our videos for a whole lot longer but even still this is an amazing feature and it just completed saving now i can go over to my imovie application or whichever video application maybe you're using for yourself I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and select the video that I just saved, create the movie with that video, and now it is on my timeline, just that easy. Now what if you didn't use the face cam option and you just recorded your voice using the voice memos or voice recording application? Well, all you need to do is launch that application, find the voice recording that you just created, and then select the three dotted icon here in the voice memos app, and then you just wanna select share, and then find the video editing app. So I don't see it right away, so I'm just gonna ahead and select more. I'm gonna scroll down here, and at the bottom, I see iMovie. So I'm gonna select that, and then I can select the project I wanna move that voice recording into. So I'm gonna select the My Movie 2 project, and boom, it just dropped onto the timeline, and now all I need to do is just line up my commentary with whatever action is happening in the Xbox gameplay clip and I will be good to go. Well, there you guys have it. That is all there is to it. Not too bad of a process. Of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you came to enjoy this video, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here so you don't miss any future videos, future live streams, future anything on this channel. I want you guys to stay well informed and entertained, of course. That's all from me, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in my next video, you little peace.